Good morning. We just got home about mm, half hour ago from the hospital. Gina had the repair surgery that she needed. Everything went well. We'll get more into that either in later on in this video or we already have. But we need to get up to the off-grid property because we gotta get a garage door installed. I'm not being insensitive and trying to get all the house stuff done. But Gina wants her garage door installed. She's been waiting, I think, over eight months now for this. And the garage door guys called yesterday while we were waiting that they could come up and do it. And luckily, we have got home just in time to do it. So, this is one of the things she's been looking forward to. I think this will make her feel a lot better knowing that her garage door is up and that she can see it. So we need to get the trailer hooked up and then we need to get up there and the garage door guys might be waiting for us. I've installed one garage door and I've learned that installing one garage door in your lifetime is enough. All right, let's go get this garage door. Load it up. up there we should actually beat the garage door guys and then we can surprise Gina so Gina is feeling a lot better today she's felt she's feeling the best she's felt since the original surgery six days ago now so she is excited to see this door up she is the one who wants to get it installed today if it was up to me I wouldn't but she wants to have it done so she's going to be excited to see what it looks like so All right, we made it up. It looks like we got some rain overnight. We weren't staying around here last night. We were two hours away. So it's pretty wet here this morning. We need to get the doorway opened up and prepped for them because they should be here any time now. I'm not sure if I hear them or not. So we got some work to do before they show up. really well, it came out nice, it only took them 45 minutes, the two of them, to get that done. <clears throat> Boom. 
I think Gina will be very happy when she comes up here and sees it all. So I want to get it all trimmed out for her. So it looks more finished than it does right now. So we go six inches. Yeah, I think if we go six inches, that'll be perfect. saw this PVC board is so flimsy by the time I probably get halfway through with the table saw it's probably just gonna drag on the ground so we're gonna put it in our Craig jig and we'll use our skill saw to rip it. I think this will be the best bet. Nice! I like that. So I cut that with a little bit of a taper, so that way if it's not all nice and flat right up against the edge with the concrete, because that's hand trowel, that if we have a high spot, it should hide, and that this edge will sit nice and flush on the concrete. We just wanna make sure we have a good seal, like we do, I like that.
All right, it's still not done. I need to put the weather stripping on, but I am tired and hungry. It's been a long six days. I'm not stopping the video here, but I am gonna go home, eat something, take a nap, and I'll see you guys in the morning. What a foggy morning out this morning. So with everything that had happened with Gina, we had been away at the hospital a few times. So there's like four or five days we weren't here in the homestead. We had people taking care of Olivia and the animals, but we didn't weren't able to have anybody do milking because nobody knew how to milk a goat. So luckily we were able to dry Hope off because it's towards the end of her lactation cycle, I guess you would call it. So we dried Hope off, but the disappointment part means is we don't have any goat's milk coming in. We always drank the goat's milk that we made or that Gina got from Hope. So it's kind of unfortunate. So right now we are not milking any goats. So good morning chickens. It looks like the ladies are hungry and they're ready for breakfast. Morning boys. Camo. Right now Gina's in the house. She is doing a lot better than she has been from when this all started happening. She is healing up. Kind of trying to give her space for the video stuff. I did not video any at the hospital. She just want to give her her own space and that way she's able to just do what she needs to do and just worry about making videos and all that sort of stuff. So. Hopefully she'll be filling up to it soon and she can make a little video about everything that has gone on and everything that's happened. I wanna let her do that. So she's doing better. She's in the house, she is healing, which is good. We've had a ton of help from friends and family. So thank you guys for all of your help. So we need to get up to the property though and get that garage door finished installed for her. <laughs> Believe it or not, she was in the prep room for surgery on the phone with the garage door people. This is how bad she's wanted this garage door installed. So we need to get up there and get it finished for her. Boy, what a difference that door makes. It changes the look. I know we still need to paint these boards, but the temperature is not right. It's not warm enough yet to paint those boards. We'll paint them black to match the door. We gotta install the weather stripping today and the weather stripping we got with the door and that weather stripping is black. So that'll look nice. I'm curious to go inside and see if we have any leaks from the garage door or not. We got a lot of rain overnight last night, so. It's looking to me like we didn't have any water that came in. That is good. That was one of the things I was a little bit concerned about. I was hoping that was gonna seal nicely, but you just never know. Sometimes you end up having issues with stuff like that. So that is a good thing. I didn't know if I was tired, hungry, 
if I, was, I don't know if I was coming or going, put it that way. So I, I said, I gotta call it quits before I end up cutting myself or messing something up. So I feel better today. I think we all feel a little bit better today. We're able to get a good night's sleep and yeah. It looks so different even just having this part of the building open. Not even the door, but just because this was all just plywood up. I like it. All right, it is all done other than painting the trim now, but we'll have to wait till the weather gets nicer. And we might just paint that trim when we get the whole, all the siding done. I'm not sure yet, because the trim work for the siding is gonna have to get, be all painted black too. So we'll see. I'm gonna have to order another weather strip. This one cracked, but I can probably get some super glue and repair it for now until they can get us a new piece. Cause it might take a little while with how things are going right now. So I'll get some super glue later. I'll pull that screw out. I'll glue those two pieces together and we'll get one on order. Oh, last screw I was putting in too and it just went poof. It just split. So it is what it is. All right, so the weather strips sealed up the gap on the edges nicely. So we're not having any, you don't see any daylight on. So that is sealed up nicely. I don't even have to worry too much about any heat loss this room or this house is very efficient we're able to heat it with just a little small propane heater right behind me when it's really cold out and that electric heater so the outdoor wood boiler with the radiant heat that we have installed in the concrete slab shouldn't be an issue with having a garage door in the kitchen because we're going to be living here for now later on we won't be living here and when we're not living here it, it'll make sense having a garage door in this area but for right now, while it's the house, yeah.
you can hear that noise, that means we're making soap. So the sun is out. All right, I just finished up the strapping in the closet. We're gonna go upstairs now and move our plumbing over so our plumbing doesn't run over our fan. We don't have enough line to move everything the way it is. So if we have two more fittings that I need, we can cut it, re-plumb it, and get everything back to where it needs to be pretty quick, as long as I have some extra fittings. I've been trying to get some extra fittings every time we go, just in case for situations like this. All right, so I need two of these. One, ooh, two, and then one, two, and then, all right, I need to shut these off. One, two. not over the fan. The fan will be back that way and the vent work will come up and over this way and out. So that'll work perfectly. I had to pick up Pluto from the groomer. She's got her springtime hairdo. She's ready for the warm weather. Well, it feels good to have the garage door in, but I was hoping that Gina was gonna be able to see it by now, but she's still not feeling up to going to the property. She's doing a lot better. She's just not fully healed yet and taking that ride up there just isn't the best for her right now. I'm outside recording in the rain because everybody is inside sleeping right now. I don't want to wake them up. So it definitely feels bittersweet. She's been the one wanting the garage door. It feels good that it's in but she hasn't been able to see it yet. So it's like a surprised fail gone wrong. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be nice that it's done so when she is able to get back up to the property it's one of the things you'll have to see first. So I'm glad we got it installed. We've been waiting a long time to get the garage door in and then to get it installed. Everybody's just so busy. It's kind of been hit or miss. Every time it's been worked out for us, it hasn't for them. And then vice versa. It worked out perfectly for the garage door. I'd give the guy a shout out, but he said he's busy enough and he doesn't need a shout out because he's so busy. So he did, they did an awesome job, I will say that. We we're very happy with their work. Hopefully in a few days, Gina will be up to the off-grid property. She is feeling better. She's just not 100% yet, so we're just giving her her time, letting her heal, and then soon she'll be back to normal. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys sending out all your love, your prayers, your blessings has meant a ton to all of us. We've been reading all the comments. We just can't reply to all of them. There's so many. 
If you've been sending emails, we've been reading them. Just again, we're not having enough time in the day to reply to everything. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.